I just got this Stanley ice cube maker and I filled it up, I put it in the freezer and now this is my very first time actually trying it out in my Stanley. So let's see how it goes together. The really nice thing about this is each of these ice cubes are labeled um, first, second, third, or fourth, so you know the order to put them into your Stanley. It has this flexible cover that goes on top, so it's not going to taste all weird and freezery. And you just put it in. A thing I had a little bit of trouble with when I filled these up is that because it is such a like flexible base, that I did spill a little water as I was trying to put them into the freezer, and that caused my um, ice cube to stick to the shelf of the freezer. And I had a little bit of a hard time getting them out, but it made it work. So. See, like there's a few different ways to get these out. The first way is that you could just push the middle down like this, and then the ice cube will pop out. So this is number one. And then the other way to do is just to push it out like this and kind of pry it off. Here's number two. And now here's number three. Oh, check that out. Okay, so it's not actually fitting in my Stanley. Now, there could be a few reasons for that. I did feel these extremely full when I did it, and maybe it's just really not supposed to be that thick of ice and that big. So um, I'm not sure why that one's not going in. Like I said, this is my very first time. You're doing this with me right now. So let's try this last one, the one that's labeled fourth. I'm having the same problem with this one as well. I have a feeling that maybe this is user error on my first try. So I'm going to go ahead, go down back to the kitchen, fill these up again, a little less full and see how it goes on my second attempt. We're back on day two. Yesterday I had filled these up again, a little less full, put them in the freezer and this morning I took them out. Now here's something I noticed again, that the um, whole tray again stuck to the shelf of the freezer. So really what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that this is perfectly dry after you fill it up or just put something on the bottom of the freezer like a paper towel or something so it doesn't stick to the glass of your freezer shelves. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see how these work here. They're not quite as frozen as they were the first time so they only left them in overnight. We're gonna start with number one. We wanna do, get number two. And the third one in here. And number three still doesn't fit. You're supposed to be able to fit one, two, and three in the 30 ounce Stanley. That's what we've got here. Number three is not fitting. Just for fun, let me try number four. Just in case. And not fitting through the lip here on this one. So. Again, I'd say this is really great for the first two if you want to use that. Now, yesterday when I put one and two in my Stanley, I left it in with some water and I just, just opened it up again today and there's still chunks of ice in there. So definitely having these round shapes for the ice works really, really well. It's just in this Stanley that I happen to have, the larger cubes don't quite fit in there perfectly. So some pros and cons to this. Definitely decide for yourself. If you have a larger Stanley, this probably would work really nicely. Um, and just try it out, see what you think. This video and product was sponsored by this company, um, just so I could try it out, give you some of my feedback, and you're exploring it right alongside with me for the first time.